Trevor Zegris is a budding 21-year-old NHL star who's collected 74 points in 99 career NHL games, good for second in the 2019 draft class. He is well known for his slick hands and elite creativity, demonstrated by the Michigan goal and pseudo-Michigan flip pass to teammate Sonny Milano, which was arguably the nicest assist ever. At 16 in his draft minus one year, Zegers made the US national U17 team, scoring 20 goals and 39 assists for 59 points in 56 games spread between the USHL and exhibition games. However, Zegers failed to make the U18 team as an underager when the likes of Jack Hughes, Alex Turcotte, Cole Caulfield, and Trevor Janicki did, and Matty Beniers even made the team as a double underager. But the following year, Zegers made the U18 team as a 17-year-old and exploded for 26 goals and 61 assists for 87 points in just 60 games. Obviously, his draft stock rose, but that U18 team was stacked, having seven of the top 15 picks in the 2019 draft all on the same team. As an 18-year-old in his draft plus one year, Zegers played for BU, potting 11 goals and 25 assists for 36 points in 33 games, good for third on his team. Zegers would also play for USA at the World Juniors and collected 9 assists in 5 games. As a 19-year-old in his draft plus two year, COVID-19 had harshly affected the NHL schedule, and the World Juniors was taking place before the start of the NHL season. The Ducks allowed Zegers to once again play for Team USA, and this time, he dominated, putting up a ridiculous 7 goals and 11 assists for 18 points in just 7 games, winning gold and taking home tournament MVP. This is the tournament that really put Zegers in the limelight for a lot of hockey fans. Following the World Juniors, Zegers split time between the San Diego Gulls and Anaheim Ducks. With the Gulls, he put up 10 goals and 11 assists for 21 points in just 17 games. And with the Ducks, he scored three times and added 10 assists for 13 points in 24 games. This past season, as a 20-year-old, the still Calder-eligible Zegris finished second in Calder voting as he would score 23 goals and add 38 assists for 61 points in 75 games. Zegris has elite potential and makes Ducks games watchable. A point-per-game season is definitely in the cards for him this coming season as he is consistently flirting with point-per-game numbers since December, averaging 0.87 points per game from then until now. But Zegers was just the ninth pick in the 2019 NHL entry draft. So why did eight teams pass up on drafting him? Today we will look at the eight players drafted before Trevor Zegers and see where they are today. One pick before Zegers, with pick number eight, the Edmonton Oilers selected Swedish defenseman Philip Broberg. Broberg has since only played 23 games for the Oilers, scoring one goal and adding two assists for three points. But Broberg looks to be a consistent top six member of the Oilers this year. While Oilers fans are probably still pretty excited to see what Broberg can bring to the table this season, I'm sure a lot can help but imagine how exciting they would be with Zegers added to that forward crop. One pick before Broberg with pick number seven, the Buffalo Sabres selected centerman Dylan Cousins. Cousins took strides with the Sabres this season, scoring 38 points in 79 games, which is almost a half point per game. Cousins did have quite a bit of success at the 2021 World Juniors, netting 8 goals and 8 assists for 16 points in just 7 games, but ultimately Canada lost to the US in the final. Cousins also looks to take some strides this year, as he is seen as a cornerstone piece for the Sabres moving forward. One pick before Cousins, with pick number 6, Steve Eisman shocked the world when Detroit selected Moritz Sider with their pick. Sider was seen as a totally off the board pick at number 6. Even Sider himself was shocked when Stevie Y announced the pick, but what a dynamite pick it was. Sider won the Calder Trophy this past year, as he would dominate defensively while scoring 7 goals and adding 43 assists for 50 points in 82 games. Upon making the Red Wings this season, Sider was immediately the best defenseman on the roster and has the potential to have a very good career as a top two defenseman. One pick before Sider, with pick number five, the Los Angeles Kings selected Zegers' then teammate, Alex Turcotte. Turcotte was one of the forwards on that U18 team that Zegers didn't make, and Turcotte had put up a ridiculous 62 points in just 37 games in his draft eligible year, which was a bit more impressive than Zegers' totals, so it makes sense why he went before Zegers. But Turcotte has failed to find his stride at the NHL level thus far. 
It's not really his fault as he's been dealing with injury problems, lately concussions, but that has left him with only 8 games of NHL experience where he didn't register a single point. In the past 2 years in the AHL, Turcotte has only managed to play 59 games and has put up 39 points. Here's to hoping that this is just a down blip and Turcotte can remain healthy and make some big strides soon. One pick before Turcotte, with pick number 4, the Colorado Avalanche selected defenseman Bowen Byram. Byram has also dealt with concussion issues. He had to take a 3 month leave of absence this season. But Byram took giant leaps when he came back, scoring 17 points in 30 regular season games and adding 9 assists in 20 playoff games, en route to a Stanley Cup championship. Hopefully he can continue to play hockey symptom free. One pick before Byram, with pick number 3, the Chicago Blackhawks selected centerman Kirby Dock. Dock has only registered 19 goals and 40 assists for 59 points through 152 games in his NHL career. He has had some decent success in the playoffs, though with a really small sample size, netting 6 points in 9 games during the 2020 playoff bubble. This summer, Doc was traded in a shocking move from the Blackhawks to the Montreal Canadiens in exchange for the 13th overall selection, who the Blackhawks used to select Frank Nazar, and a third round pick, which they used to select Gavin Hayes. Hopefully Doc is able to turn around with the Canadiens this coming season, but this pick certainly has to hurt for Blackhawks fans. One pick before Doc, with pick number two, the New York Rangers selected big right winger Capo Caco. Caco was the consensus number two pick in this draft, as he put up 38 points in 45 games while playing against men in the SM Liga. Dominance while playing against men was always brought up, but that hasn't exactly translated yet to the NHL level. Kako has just 26 goals and 32 assists for 58 points in 157 NHL games thus far. Kako is signed for two years at 2.1 million per season and is always in trade rumors. Time will tell if Kako can make that jump, but he is still only 21 years old after all. One pick before Kako, with the first overall pick in the 2019 NHL entry draft, the New Jersey Devils selected consensus number one overall, Jack Hughes. Besides maybe Cider, Hughes is the only other player that would go ahead of Zegris in a 2019 redraft. Hughes put up big numbers in his draft eligible year, scoring 25 goals and adding 75 assists for 100 points in just 50 games with the U18s. Hughes has 108 points in 166 career NHL games thus far, and this season he really broke out as he scored 26 goals and added 30 assists for 56 points in just 49 games. The New Jersey Devils took a huge leap of faith in Hughes last summer when they signed him to an 8-year, $64 million contract. But now, it's looking like that contract may age to be a huge bargain for the Devils, especially with that length of term. Who do you think the best player of the 2019 draft class will end up being? While I don't think Zegers is the favorite, I definitely think there's a chance he will go down as the best player from this draft class. I want to say thank you and give credit to Rob Talks Hockey and O Nyquist for giving me the inspiration for making this video. I will link both of their channels in the description below. Thanks for watching. Take care everyone.